All right, everybody, we got ourselves a Brazilian extravaganza and oh, maybe not an interesting build order. Sorry. We have Pisky here in the blue. He is playing Odin. We're on Mediterranean. I'm a teensy bit surprised. Um, me personally, I'm not a big fan of um, Odin on Mediterranean. Since you get a, especially on the expansion, since you get a free Valkyrie, you can go and use Forest Fire fairly quickly um, on your enemy. So it's not quite as the the Ravens. What's up? I don't know if. <laughs> Hold on, Rapple. You're inter Rapple. You're interrupting my introduction here. Excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, in fact, Rapple, it'd be interesting to hear what you think about this. I don't think that Odin is as strong on the expansion on Mediterranean compared to Vanilla, because on Vanilla you can use a Ravens to go over Steve and Mark? use get line of sight for forest fire, early forest fire. But with the free Valkyries, that kind of mitigates that. On the, ex on the expansion, or on Vubly, is it the same on... I'm pretty sure it's the same on Extended Edition. Anyways, you get your Ravens when you build your temple. And so you can use your Forest Fire, you know, really quickly on your opponent. But still, point still stands is that if you're playing against, you know, in this matchup, Odin against Thor. Asterix is playing Thor. In this matchup, the Thor player can also get an early Forest Fire as well um, with the Valkyrie harassment, right? <laughs> Give Rapple a get ready. Get, get ready, ready, pal. pal. You're, You're gonna in for a problem. problem. Mea course, Rapple. That's for you. <laughs> mm. Okay. Anyway, so having said that, um, I very personally, I very much prefer, um, I very much prefer Thor on Mediterranean. The build order is smooth. You can advance really early. Really strong economy. I much prefer Thor on Mediterranean. That is a very defensive temple right there, Mister Asterix. Okay. Um, the gold mines, real quick, just wood and gold, and then we'll fast forward into into um, classical. Like the wood options are not all that great for Asterix. He has kind of the, he has several different options, but they're all kind of aside from this one, they're all kind of smaller wood lines. He's got a gold mine just outside of his base on the left. Same thing with the right side in front of the town center. Fairly standard Mediterranean, pretty darn standard in my opinion. Fish not terribly too close to his dock, but yeah, pretty standard. Um, Pretty standard Mediterranean here for him. Similar story for Pisky, honestly. The wood, wood situation, pretty much the same story. Um, gold mine in front of his TC, gold mine over on the right side, fairly close to his base. You know, in fact, this is a very mirrored map in all sincerity. Very mirrored. Yeah, like uh, the TCs, the settlements are like in a square. One gold mine on one side for blue, two on the left for blue. And, you know, vice versa for Asterisk. Interesting. Okay. And there we go. We have our age up through, um, what's it called? Through Freya. Okay. 15% over on Pisky's side. Pisky, interesting. Pisky's actually not up just yet. He's going for an, an, another Arox? Are you kidding me? Dude, what? He's going to be up real late, man. One, five, eight? That eight fishing ships? He's going for something more like a fish boom type of a situation? What is this, dude? I think it was unnecessary for him to take that other Rarox. Maybe he's not feeling confident on water, so he just decides to, you know, well, I'll get as much fish as I possibly can, and then I'll lose fish, and then, you know, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, he's going to be up at basically full, uh, just under five minutes. And he's going to be, I mean, he'll be able to get two docks up for sure, I think. But if you advance at five minutes, you definitely got to have three docks up, man. And with one little scrailing building that, that's, it ain't happening, man. It ain't happening. Okay, so let's play. Oh, there we go. I mean, there we go. Uh, Asterix is into, or up to Freya. 420, you know, not a crazy, not a crazy time, but, you know, it's just fine advance time, honestly. Okay, and here we go. Maybe he can get one dock up over here and sneak another up over there or something. I don't know, but he's he's gonna have to do something. If you advance 40 seconds late, you know, compared to your opponent, and you don't have something to show for it, it's no bueno, man. No bueno at all. There we go. Up through again. Yeah, it's about 30 seconds later, actually. Not the worst thing in the world, especially with the shooting docks, I guess. But still, he's, you know... He is going for a third dock, actually. Wow. He is going for that third dock. Gonna be a little bit rough. He's gotta get um houses going as well. 
Does he have a Hurser out, possibly? Getting a Hurser out, that'll help a lot. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are those longboats gonna... Oh, oh. Those longboats almost able to range that Ulfstark right there. That would be bad. Oh. Okay. So Pisky's doing all right here. Pisky's doing all right. It's going to take him some time to get that other dock up, but still, he's doing all right here. He's doing all right here. Okay. Let's see if maybe Asterix can get a forest fire on that side. Pisky still can if he wants to. He's got his he's got his raven over there. Got his raven over there. Asterix is looking great numbers wise. I mean, check that out, dude. Seven, eight, nine longboats, another ten coming across. Pisky's Pisky's getting he's getting out microed here. Pisky's not looking all that good. <laughs> I think it might be. I think it's maybe worthwhile to just give up water, dude. Even if he gets the third dock up right now, he is very outmassed, honestly. Maybe it would be worth it. I don't know. Looking for the forest fire. Looking for the forest fire. Asterix doing a little switcherooski with his dwarves. Nice. Nice. The third dock is up. Okay. <clears throat> That's the thing with shooting docks. Is it ever really over? Yeah, it can be, but still, the, the shooting docks help out so much trying to play defense. It's going to take Pisky quite some time to get back into this game, however. What can he do, man? Maybe with the Valkyrie, he could go put some pressure on. Although, where'd the Valk go? There's the Valkyrie for Asterix as well, okay. Okay. Well, we have a lull. We have a lull. Pisky just trying to get some of those numbers going. But he only still only has two of his docks trying to produce. He's got... Okay, so here's the big... Dude, look at all those low HP vills. I think it's... It's not a miracle necessarily, but oh boy. Oh boy, he could have lost a lot more villagers there than just one. Holy smokes, man. Holy smokes. Look at those low HP vills, man. That was sketchy. I think at this point in time, is it worth it for Asterix to try and fight back on water? He's got eight ships. A little bit of a missed macro here. He's got gold coming out of his ears. Wood is strapped for... Strapped for cash? Strapped for wood? Whatever. At this point in time, I want to see Asterix. Now that he's owned water for quite some time, yeah, he's even transitioning over to hunt the Aurochs and whatnot. I definitely want to see him do something like go heroic, take town centers, build build longhouses forward, something like that. Aside from just continuing get fish going, like he needs more than five fish, you know. Definitely needs more than five fish. I definitely want to see him take advantage of his water here. He's had an advantage for quite some time. Um, he needs to use it. Honestly, he really needs to use it. Otherwise, Pisky is slowly going to come back here, man. Pisky's slowly going to come back. It's still kind of like two docks to two docks production right now. Again, he has the fishing ships that are actually gathering, but still, still, he needs to do something with his advantage here. He needs to do something. He's going to need to fight. That's what he's going to need to do. Pisky's feeling, Pisky's feeling confident enough. 19 boats to 13 still outnumbered still outnumbered but maybe i mean at least piskies are full health right now nice micro there by asterix pisky gets caught out maybe a little bit overconfident with his ship numbers because he, again he's still outnumbered good play here by asterix all right all right and he goes back to retreat once again they didn't allow him any fishing ship gather time not really not really but maybe with these numbers maybe he can try and fight we'll see pisky feeling frisky he was feeling frisky with that you know sending those ships out like that man he was feeling frisky wasn't he <laughs> okay well he's already out on that next gold mine how about upgrades and X pickaxe, that's good. 
forest fire for Pisky. All right. That's a lot of eco delay right there, but he doesn't quite get a bill kill. Doesn't quite get a bill kill. I, I really think that... Oh, 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 oh. Ha, ha. He's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. Ouch that, that had to hurt. hurt. Okay, I was going to say, there's no way that guy survives the forest fire. What's up, Grass? Grass, your games are next. We got, we're gonna do, um, so you said that you were, probably wouldn't be able to catch me, so I, I jumped straight into Isky Asterix first. Um, I didn't know that they had scheduled to play, but they, they finished playing, like, a little bit ago. What's up, Sha dude, Shadow, I'm, I'm glad that you're a fan of Asterix here, man. He's looking good so far, dude. He's looking good so far, honestly. You're here for a bit only? Okay. Well, let's see, let's see how fast these these games are gonna go and then you know maybe we can get into a couple of yours <clears throat> you always support the vanilla players same here same here yeah you have nice strong support now that you're an aranos player yet jackass <laughs> i don't know if you deserve to the bimba winter two crown ori you are you've become a traitor <laughs> and china yeah yeah you're going for atlantean and china now dude what the hell <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somehow Pisky's holding on here, dude. Somehow he's holding on. Asterix is not quite able to finish out this game. I really think he needs to... Um, I mean, okay, finally getting some longhouses up. There we go. Finally getting some longhouses up. Like I said, he really needs to capitalize on his numbers. <clears throat> Maybe even get armory upgrades. Maybe even get some armory upgrades, forward longhouses, etc. <sighs> Gotta abuse them all. Gotta abuse them all. Honestly, Pisky losing some gold income time does not matter at all. He's a thousand in the bank. He's going to be just fine. Just fine. Grass, is it almost your bedtime? You cheapy, cheapy, choo, little grass and groom. This grass and groom got to wake up for school in the morning. <laughs> I didn't ping it on the channel. Ooh, that's a good point, dude. That's a good point. I was watching, I was watching, I was in a little bit of a rush, man. Like I said, since I streamed those games earlier, I was in a little bit of a rush. My bad. It's past your bedtime. Oh, the widow grassing, grooming, frooming, booming. Oh, he's got a bedtime. You're so cute. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Grass and Groom is one of our young bucks in the community. He's one of the young whippersnappers. Um, we got Scotty coming in for Asterix, which is very nice. Speaking of um, speaking of a, a vanilla player, Ori, he's still on you know one TC. What, he's basically playing vanilla style here, man. <laughs> I really think that Asterix has kind of allowed Pisky back into this game. This is child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, when I beat when I beat your Loki on Mediterranean, that was child abuse. But then it was reverse child abuse when you beat me those other games. <laughs> you remember when Wiz was the young blood? Yeah, Wiz is an old boy now, Jordan. He and Boyt and Chrono and uh, um, um, oh geez, what's his bucket? Rifang. They made a little old boys clan. Now we're talking seriously. Asterix is playing straight up vanilla style, dude. Two docks, two docks, early advance, one TC. He didn't really have much of an early heroic time, um, you know, since he only has five fish and chips, so it took him a while to get heroic, but still. Really, this is given, this is given Pisky time. The longer this game goes on, this is given Pisky just more and more time to stay in this game, man. He's walled up his gold mine almost oh, over on the side. He could get the TC going. He could do the same over on this left hand side. You know, got a longhouse and whatnot down. He's forcing. Here's the thing he's forcing Asterix, or rather, Asterix is allowing Pisky to force him into investing all of these resources into fighting water. And so far, it's what? It's for five fishing ships. Come on, man. Come on, man. I think... I think he definitely could have um, taken advantage of his advantage a lot earlier. But, you know, alright. He's he's still looking good in this game. Hiskey's still um, a little bit sketchy, man. He is, he is able to fish now, though. He is able to fish, though.
There we go. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, getting some more Ulfs and whatnot out. Some Yarls. All right, all right. Asterix starting to flex his muscles. All right, all right, all right. But I like this wall by Pisky over on this right side. Going for the TC now. He should be able to get that up. Only four hers here. He should be able to get that up. Since he's got the wall there. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? We got units streaming across the map for Asterix. Dropping a longhouse. I like that. I say potential gold star of incoming. Um, I mean, he still has 2,600 left in this gold mine right here. But if Pisky isn't, you know, isn't isn't careful, he's going to lose access to that thing right there. So this is what I want to see by Asterix. This is what I want to see. I want if I want to, to see this, this, etc. Five minutes ago, right? At least five minutes ago, right? More fishing ships. I want him to get more fishing ships out, etc. I'm not quite sure for Pisky, honestly. Pisky seems like he's a little. He's got to get those. Got to get those um, infantry going pretty darn quickly. Getting a second TC will help, and he's gonna frost the town center to maybe deny it. Really? How fast can he bust through that wall? However, he's got some of those dragon ships trying to help him take down the wall. Okay, just run around, bro. Just run around. Hello. Just run around, dude. Just frosted 20 dwarfs, yeah. It doesn't, oh. It matters now, Pisky did have a thousand gold in the bank, but you know, it didn't a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> now we got the TC going, okay. This is what I want, again, I'm gonna say it again. This is what I wanted to see from Asterix five minutes ago, you know? Five or so minutes ago. He's looking good right now. That's completely idle eco. Pisky's not going to be able to get heroic anytime soon. Doesn't have the gold, unfortunately. Now it's kind of, he is kind of that top, what is it called? Topsy turvy? No, no. Teeter totter economy. A ton of gold, a ton of wood. Er, I mean food. Nice. This fight is pretty decent here, however. He's got a lot of hers here. Got a lot of hers here, that throwing Axeman. So actually, he's gonna be able to get this TC. He should be able to get the TC at least. Nice. Cro er, <laughs> Corona. Grass and Groom calling the GG. I don't know about that just yet. Yeah, TC is up, man. TC is up. Asterix just about his has his TC up as well. Again, this is the big, I think this is the game finisher right here. This has gotta be the game finisher right here. So I would like Asterix. I would like either player. Either Pisky, he needs to get some more longhouses over here. Same thing with Asterix. They're gonna have to fight for that for sure. Um, I think that 1300 gold left in this gold mine here uh, for Pisky. That's plenty for him to survive, but eventually he has to make that switch over to that left side, you know? Why does a blue player have flags in buildings? It's a little mod I have for um, auto queue. Yeah. There's units in it. No, 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 no. That's a different looking. That's a different looking flag. Now we're talking. That's a different looking flag. This is a little auto queue mod. Okay. Gold mine ran out. So the switcheroo should be no problem for Pisky. There's only the one longhouse on this left side. So yeah, the switcheroo ski should be no problem. Look, 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 look. Look at his... Oh, wait, you guys can't see. You guys can't... Ah, uh, I'm going to have to figure this... Uh, okay. Here, I'm going to move my big fat head real quick. There, since we're doing recorded games, I can move my, I can move my big stupid face up over there. Now you guys can see the resources. He had a thousand gold, a thousand food. Now he's back to a thousand gold. <laughs> teeter totter eco, man. Teeter totter eco. Why would a Nilla player ever succumb to using auto queue? It actually looks a little bit cooler on. Um, I think it's on extended edition. I have one as well, and it, it's like a light. Oh, it's like a light that. It like shines on the thing, kind of cool. 
I mean, this is looking good for Asterix, but he is taking his sweet time finishing out this game. <laughs> He is taking his time and Pisky calls it. Pisky calls it? Really? I mean, I guess he's still, he's still, okay. So I think if Pisky had more, if Pisky had more longhouses over on this left side, he could take the gold mine, have throwing Axeman over here. He's fine. He's, you know, no problemo. No problemo. All right. Asterix player number two wins game number No, Goes up one zip. Yeah, I, I think that, um, well, anything, the any comments that I have, I think I've already made. I think that Asterix could have done all this, you know, a long 10 minutes ago. Um, Pisky, however, Pisky absolutely stayed in this. And he could have stayed in this a little bit longer, even, I mean, two to two TCs. I know Asterix was taking a third one over here, but still, if he had a little bit more longhouse spam, uh, gets more throwing Axemen out, nice little chunk, nice little group of throwing Axemen to just build stuff, snipe all Sark, stuff like that. I think he could have been sitting pretty, um, honestly. Let's check out the KD. Pretty good, pretty good KD for Asterix. Nothing too crazy, but pretty good. Yeah, actually, that is pretty good. Like two to three, roughly. Is it true I went to Greece to Casa? Yeah, regularly, I, I did go over to Greece. It was sick, man. Watch that. That's the one of the announcement videos. Um, anyways, okay, yeah, really similar. This is kind of funny, like Asterix, even though he had idled Pisky's fishing ships for like half of the game, despite that, <laughs> somehow he still had fewer resources. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Possibly he missed getting Hand Axe, which is definitely possi possible, probable, because remember, he only, he started out classical with only five fishing ships right here. So I guess maybe it's possible he skipped Hand Axe. I mean, he advanced at 420. Not the craziest, fastest time. Uh, it's, a, it's a good time, though. But he only had the five fishing ships, so possibly possibly he skipped Hand Axe or something like that. I'm not sure. But again, you know, he, he idled Pisky's fish for so long, but, but he only had five fish himself, so it wasn't a huge advantage there. Anyways, well played. Well played to Asterix. Game one goes to Asterix. Let's jump into game two. So cool. So cool, huh? All right, everybody. Grass it's grass and groom has a bedtime, everybody. So we got to get through the wrecks and maybe get to some of his. <laughs> All right. Well, this is only game number two of a best of three, Mr. Grass and Groom. Okay, so we'll see what we got. We have Pisky. He is going Odin. Sticking with Odin. Sticking with Odin um, here on Nile Delta. And we actually have Asterix who is switching over to Odin, which is a little bit interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shut up. Dude, no way. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Asterix doesn't know it's a water map. Look, look, look. Did, Did he get hunting dogs? Oh, no. He got hunting dogs. Ouch, that had to hurt. <laughs> Dude. Come on, man. <laughs> he doesn't know that it's a water map. Oh, he's like, oh, shit. Look at this. Oh, this looks like watering hole. Oh. <laughs> Well, alrighty then. <laughs> um, okay, so we got ourselves a land build order here for Mr. Asterix. You know, if, if this this map is not Nile Delta is not one of the standard maps. It's a newer map that was play. It was part of the. I think it was part of the Vubli. I think it was part of the Vubli map pool years ago. I remember actually playing Chemo on this map um, back in like twenty. 15-ish, something like that. Years ago, years ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, so, but, but it kind of fell out of the Vubli map pool, perhaps with the um, bounce patch number five, but um, I like it. I like it. I think it's an interesting map. I think it has a lot of potential. And so, anyways, it's part of the Fimble Winter 3 um, map pool. Anyway, so having said that, if Asterix is really like a proper vanilla player, he doesn't know what this map is at all. So I'm not surprised at all that he, in fact, I mean, he even scouted the water, but oh, oh, oh he actually sees fish up on that top side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. He sees fish up on that top side, which is kind of funny. 
So you could maybe think, oh, 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 it's just like, look, there's water. It's like watering hole. It's like watering hole, right? You have good starting Creator food. Talk. It's like watering hole. Nope. It's got fish, buddy. It's got fish. <laughs> so funny. Anyways, this is Pisky's map choice, by the way. Pisky lost game number one. Loser picks the next map. Naturally, here we go. Um, this is his map pick, so of course he's going to know um, that he's going, you know, to go water, of course, of course. Um, anyways, I like this, what he's doing right here. The, 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 the gazelles are a little far away from that wood line. A little bit of a bummer, but still, I like, I like the idea there to um, share the ox cart. Very nice. Very nice. Maybe by now, you know, it's one thing to share the ox cart early on, but maybe by now at 310, you know, you could build another ox cart. Yeah. Yeah, actually, Grass, that's what I do whenever I watch VODs. I actually watch VODs at, like, VODs and podcasts and stuff like that. I actually watch them at, like, 1.5 speed minimum. Minimum. Sometimes two times the speed, depending on, you know, who's speaking and whatnot. If I'm listening, really, the only VODs I watch are, like, Age of Empires. I watch Memb. I watch Age of Empire 2 VODs from Memb. And, you know, so I, I can't watch his on two, two times the speed. Just so I can keep track of what he's saying with his accent. <laughs> Anyways. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Asterix is about halfway, just over halfway up to Freya. Pisky is... Pisky, once again, Pisky is not advancing just yet. A very slow advance for him once again. However, he is getting that delicious fish boom going. And he's got his raven going as well. So he's actually going to be able to see pretty darn soon that Asterix did not go water. <laughs> there we go. We got Freya. He just barely clicked up, bro. So the walls are definitely going to be useful for him. He's going to have a killer economy. If Asterix cannot do... <clears throat> excuse me. If Asterix cannot do damage fast enough, he's going to have a booming economy, man. He's going to have a booming economy. Asterix, find him the Wajidai. Nice. Smith units are cheaper. Also has... Pygmalion statue, villager HP, Black Lotus, the farm up or the farm one. Okay, instant. Okay, instant, instant wood burn. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now he's just going for. What's he going for? Let's go over to his point of view. Asterix. There we go. Who he's going for? Okay, Pisky is up. Maybe house temporarily. <clears throat> okay. And we got two long house aggression from Asterix. There we go. Ulsark and RC. That's a little bit of a peculiar combination. Ulsark's and RC. The nice thing about about now Delta yeah. is that there's there's a lot of really good hunt on this right side of the map. So you got good fish over here. Good fish over here. <laughs> Check it out. Wait, wait, wait. Look at Asterix's point of view. He's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. He's got so much fish. Oh, shit. If he does destroy the dock, Pisky only has one dock. So if he does destroy the dock, then your fishing ship, it's like, you know, yeehaw, great. Whatever. Okay. Nice pressure. Kicking him off the food there. Not the biggest of deals, however, considering the fish. I want, I want, I want Pisky to get those longhouses up a little bit faster. Maybe Asterix get a couple more longhouses out himself, getting a third one up right there. Nice. If he seriously takes out that dock, that's gonna be kind of hilarious because he doesn't go fish and then he denies Pisky's fish. <laughs> Man. Yo. Here we go. <clears throat> Perseer, Valkyrie, a couple of wolf sarks, and he's building a dock. <laughs> so funny, man. So funny. It is GG if not necessarily Shadow Facts. It's not necessarily GG if the dock falls because he's man. I mean, he's had all that time. He has the same number of villagers, and he's had all of that time with fishing ship um, food income. So it's not GG, but that would be a huge detriment to Pisky if he loses the dock. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Asterix is looking good here. Asterix is looking really good. If he gets the dock up himself, I don't know if that's, I mean, that's, that'd be good. He can actually start fishing, destroy the, there's only 480 HP left in the dock, so he can take it out pretty soon, in my opinion. 
built his he built his he built his uh, longhouses a bit far away in my opinion a little bit far away so his units to arrive at the battlefield they're a little bit slow getting there dude he's gonna get it he's gonna get it he's gonna get it look 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 300 200 is he gonna go for the fight he's going for the fight is he gonna go for the fight he's going for the fight longboat gets out okay grass you think it's gg Hold your horses, man. Look at Blue right now. Blue's looking okay, dude. For this, for your sake, Grass and Groom, I can play fast a little bit. He loses the dock. He loses the dock, and there's two longboats out for one. So the fish are currently completely idle, unfortunately, for Pisky. However, he can just rebuild one real quick. Let's go to his point of view. Yeah, check it out. Boom. Rebuild that shit. No problem. There are two longboats to destroy all of those units trying to build the dock. He has enough that he should be able to get the dock up. A third longboat even coming out, and an old Sark just killed a longboat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, what? <laughs> when? I've never seen that in my entire AOM career. An old Sark, an old Sark attacking a longboat and killing it. What? <laughs> so funny. Grass, you're cracking me up, dude. My parents think I'm asleep. Gotta be quiet. <laughs> ah, the good old days. Grass and groom, when I was your age, I would wake up an hour early for school every day, and I would play two rated games of Age of Mythology in the morning. And I would wake up, I would sneak into my parents, um, my dad's office, I'd play my two games of AOM, and then I would shut down the computer, and then I'd go and get ready for um, school for the day. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the good old days, man. The good old days. This is looking good for Asterix. Looking good for Asterix. Pisky almost has two docks up, which is brutal. Um, that, uh, he's gonna have this fish no problem if he has two docks up, honestly. But on land, Pisky's, Pisky's struggling on land here, man. I really want him to finish that other dock. The Asterix is starting to look really good here on land, dude. Three, uh, three, three buildings producing. And Pisky's, look at Pisky's economy. He's stretching that shit to the limit, man. Push it to the limit. Yeah, dude, regulate. That was back when, I don't know what kids are like these days. Do kids have their own computers these days? I don't know. That was back when there was one family computer. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't like go to a, a, an office building. It was like his office in the house. Yeah, I don't... Uh, that was back when... That was back when you had one family computer. I don't know. That's probably still a thing these days, right? A family computer and... My parents regulated how much time I spent on my computer. All that type of stuff. I'm the type of guy to play AOM as a kid at a public library. I was not that type of kid. I'm way too bashful to go and play something like... I, I'm way too something about playing AOM in public like that. Do you have a phone, Grass and Groom? Do you have a phone with like, like a normal phone? Or do you have one of those kids phones that only texts? All right, so Pisky's got all that fish, which is sick. He's knocked off of gold, which is brutal though. He's knocked off of gold. Honestly, he has 86 favor in the bank. I'm a little bit surprised he doesn't have more, a little bit more food on income. Maybe some, uh, to, maybe for some Valk spam. That would be super sick, honestly, if he were able to get some Valk spam going. Speaking of Valk spam, are you kidding me? All of those wood choppers should be did. Gonna get the majority of them. Wow, lots of dead villagers right there. Gonna get more. Get him. Come on, get her. Get her! Ah, I didn't get her. I think we might see a gold starve here, friends. He might be able to sneak around over on this side. Okay, take that thing right there. He might be able to sneak around. Let's go, let's go see Asterix's point of view. He knows that the gold mine is there. He knows that it's there, so he should be able to find it. <laughs> see you later, Ori. Grass and Groom has an iPhone 10. Is that a new iPhone or is that an old iPhone? I don't know. That's that's probably a newer iPhone, right? Grass has an iPhone 10. Grass has an iPhone 10 and his own, and his own computer. You son of a bitch. 
I was not allowed. Back when I was, well, again, grass, I had to... He sees the, he sees the dwarves. There we go. There we go. It's a year old. That is a very new phone. Back when I was, um, my, back, back in the, like, mid-2000s, um, my parents, like, th that's just when they started family plans. Cell phone companies started family plans. So I, nice forest fire there, I guess. I begged and begged and begged once I was, when I was 17 and a half. I was begging, I begging, begging, begging my parents to allow me to have a cell phone. It's only $10 a month. I'll pay for it. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. I had to wait. Um, I had to wait, get one when I was 18. I couldn't get a cell phone, but I love that flip phone that I got. Once I got a cell phone, oh boy, game over. My life just... Actually, that's not true. It was it was a good thing for my social life. Nice, excellent. Okay, so asterix, asterix. I again, I just said GG in a <laughs> in a recorded game. Okay. Asterix takes it two to zip. Okay, okay. Um, I think that was a good goal start, dude. That's the tricky thing. In fact, we saw this earlier today when we were casting Stacky against Hero. Um, Hero did a Heimdall rush against Stacky, and, you know, Stacky was doing well, doing well, doing well, had lots of fish, blah, blah, blah. But the gold, man, the gold is really sketchy on this map. So I guess that's the interesting thing is that, you know, you can fight water kind of like Mediterranean, right? You can fight it kind of like Mediterranean. You're pretty close to your opponents, right? But... Your opponent can get a brutal gold starf going. And, you know, ultimately, that's what Asterix did. He didn't even... He made long belts. He, he ended up going water at, you know, seven minutes or eight minutes or whatever it was. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, but still. Brutal, dude. And he gets the gold starf. So Asterix takes it. That was round one, people. That was round one. A round one match, rather. Um, so it was a best of three. Asterix takes it. Two to zip and moves on. Nice. That means Asterix moves on to fight against... Where is he? Against Shell T. Asterix against Shell T. Okay, well, so Asterix definitely has his work cut out for him, eh? <laughs> he definitely has his work cut out for him, huh? Well played to him, man. Well played. Well played to Asterix. Congrats for taking game his first, his first uh, match. Very nice. Very nice.